Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 8 and today we are going to look at the jQuery syntax. So uh, first let's begin if you are new to this and if you want to work with jQuery then I'll show you a quick way. First go to jQuery.com, download the jQuery from here, it will take you right here and we are working with the uncompressed version so click on that and you will see something like this and once you save this you will have a copy of jQuery like this with you. And once you do that, then you need to add the jQuery into your project. And once you do that, then you need to make a reference of, oops, this jQuery file right here in our head section. Okay? So if you don't do that, then jQuery is not going to work. So you need to make sure you add a reference of jQuery file in here okay and in the last video what we saw was that uh, you know uh, we use the jQuery for the first time in document dot ready function which says when the document gets complete then you need to perform the following action so what we did over here was we selected all the p tags alright and we apply the border of 3px green so let's test that in browser <coughs> and you can see all the paragraphs has the green border right so this is a kind of an instruction we use in jQuery okay so let's go back to presentation and you can see that we have a syntax something like this where we have a dollar then we are saying that you need to select something over here we are selecting a paragraph tag right and then you do some actions so we are performing some CSS action here so what exactly you break it up so if you want a breakup then you can see you know the dollar is an instruction to jQuery which is right here <clears throat> right up next is it says select something right that's what we saw that we are selecting something so now you're selecting at the HTML elements based on selector example like I'm saying that I want to select all the p tags so I'm selecting p tags or I can select the h2 tag by going right here and changing this to h2 save this thing and let's preview so this time p will be free and h2 will be locked <coughs> right so it works so that's how uh, it works and then do something means we are manipulating the HTML elements that means over here we are manipulating the CSS property of the header element and so this is the actual example which I was explaining dollar is an instruction to jQuery P is we want to select all the P tags or you can put any of the things you want CSS border one we want to apply border changes to select the elements right so that's how the instruction works so in future video series you will see a lot of uh, places where I'll be using p tag and different tags and this is not limited to tags uh, I can you know reference the selector based on ID class and I'm gonna show you all you know in future video series so don't worry about that right so I hope that helps and up next we are going to start with the selectors introduction right so in case of any queries or issue guys please comment below and let me know and thank you for watching this